Namaste beautiful yogis, welcome to Ali Kamenova Yoga, I'm Ali and today we are doing another coffee cup. I first, before we begin, want to invite you to my website where all of December is coffee cups and all of January will be coffee cups. In addition, for me, just I just introduced a beginner schedule with the first month being the introduction, the foundation. So classes that really take you through the uh, foundations of each pose. We have uh, plank flow, um, triangle flow, warrior one, vinyasa and so forth. So each vinyasa is centered around the pose and we build upon it. So now we're going to start with the beginner coffee cups, which is more of an intermediate beginner level where you really get a full class in, but without the fancy, uh, really difficult poses. But it's still challenging for a beginner and for everybody else, because when we connect really to a pose, it's always challenging in a good way. So with the coffee cups, I've been going through all my favorite coffees and the famous coffee styles. I just did something that was an espresso shot with a twist of lemon and it was spectacular. A lot of, I will introduce some of those poses in this class today too, but a lot of um, twists of course and extensions and intensity and booty and so forth. I've covered a lot of my favorite coffees, Kenya coffee being my favorite and we'll do Ethiopia and all the risretto and cortado and all the other espresso shot styles, but it will be a large variety of coffee cup styles and classes. And because this is going on YouTube, I figured let it be a little more poshy of a title and it will be, <laughs> are you ready? I mean, you know it from the title, bulletproof coffee. So. I'm going to start it with that because it's already written, but it will be that bulletproof coffee. Um, <laughs> I have less experience with it, but it's a more sustained energy coffee. It's still a coffee cup with, uh, with the pure, pure coffee beans and the creaminess of the coconut oil or butter or ghee or whatever. So we're going to really get into it, get some extensions, twists, uh, just a full coffee cup that really is uh, supposed to awaken your body, awaken your mind, expand your heart in a shorter amount of time so you can get on with your day. All right, let's begin and let's flow with strength and ease. All right. Starting with a little bit of a warm up, side to side. So jumping from one to the other. Let's bring the arms in. Jumping outside the mat, in. We're warming up the arms as well. Crisscross, scissors. You can bring your arms up front. We're warming up the muscles that are involved in holding the arms up. Mini jump with the left leg back, mini knee up. Engage the belly opposite side. So we're really starting to engage the core. Still warming up dynamic to bring circulations, twists. You can bring the palms of the hands up, warm up the biceps. Flex the biceps. All right, the killer for me, this one is a killer because <laughs> it's not a secret I am not a runner, meaning I don't run, but I am a runner <laughs> originally. All right, so one leg jumps in and out of the mat or a line, whatever. That one builds the calves that I have to build a little more, the other side. Ooh. 
All right, again, the first leg, bring your elbows up. Soft knees, softness in the landing. Opposite. Jumping jacks, keep the elbows bent, soft knees. All right, from here, right leg forward, cross back mini lunge. So not the full extension of the lunge just yet, just yet. Cross back, hop up, cross, hop. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, opposite side, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, lunge back, you can widen the lunge now, left leg back, hop, engage the core for I also have slower classes in the month they're the tea the cups of tea pour oolong opposite side Side lunge, right leg bending, hop, two, straight back, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, opposite side, one, two, three, Eight, ten. All right, deeper lunge now. Cross back, but this time we're hinging at the hips and reaching or touching the floor. Two, three, hinging, push the hips back. Five, six. Seven, <clears throat> ten, opposite side, straight back, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, straight back lunge with the same. Hinging at the hips, reaching for the floor, touching the floor. So you can stagger the legs a little, touch straight back, hips back. This is without strictly working on the body. This really activates the glutes. Wow, it is also cardio. Core, two, three. If you hinge, you will feel your glutes on fire. Opposite side. One, two, the range of motion here matters. Pushing the hips back. All right. Favorite deadlifts. Stepping onto the right leg, soft knee. Touch the floor, straight back, hop up, 
It can be a very gentle hop. Each and every one of those. Two. You're supposed to get ketosis from bulletproof. So here we're <laughs> emptying the lymph. Last one. Straight back, remember? Hinging motion. Two. Great, step onto the right, clasp your hands behind, soften the shoulders, step your left leg back, in, lunge, look up. Bring your hands to the left, look over to the right. Back to center, clasp, warrior thing. Step it back, high lunge, humble warrior. Soften the shoulders. All right, neck yoga. Come up and you will look slightly up, diagonally up. And you will push your chin slightly forward. It's a small push. It involves, engages and tightens all the muscles along the jaw in the neck, even down into the chest area, something everybody needs, and we can include it in the poses. So you're pushing the bottom lip slightly up and forward, which pushes the chin forward. Just a very slight thing, you don't go like that. It's just very mild. All right, step at the front. We'll do it again on the other side. Opposite side, right? Leg back, open. Move your hands to the right, soften the shoulders, look over to your left. Back to center, warrior three, focus. Ujjayi breath. Step it back, high lunge, humble warrior. Come up, chin, up and forward, up and forward. on the jaw, step at the front. <sighs> Inhale the hands over the head. Hands in prayer, chair, twist. Chair, twist. Chair, shift your weight onto the right leg. <sighs> step back, twist. Left elbow, right knee, chair, opposite side so this is a dynamic spinal adjustment cardio slash yoga slash body awareness movement body weight fusion keep stepping so with each step you surrender to the twist step at the front opposite side surrender to the twist I've noticed that a lot of the in motion poses are extremely effective. <laughs> as well as the holding ones. But in motion is a little bit poo -pooed. <laughs> People tend to look down on it because we don't understand it. All right, a few more. That's from the coffee. 
with a twist of lemon. Step at the front, hands over the head. Here we'll continue with dynamic cardio slash elements of vinyasa combination. I use this on days when I have very little time, under 20 minutes, yet I wanna feel my body awakened. So step back, reach to your right, front. Step the right foot back. Really extend here, you wanna feel it all the way in the psoas. Hip flexor, psoas, all the way down to the knee, up to the rib cage. Step at the front, moving, everything happens with integrity. You move into the poses from a place of connection. Reach, front, reach, front, reach, front. Really feel it. Reach, front. Soften the shoulders, drop them down, drop the shoulder blades into the back. Extend the tailbone down so we're really digging into the obliques and saws. Elongate it. Great. Last one on each side, we'll hold it for a breath of three. Look up, press the back heel back. Change. Step at the front. Exhale, diving down. Inhale, look ahead. And here, we're going to glide the left leg back, circle the right arm up, place it down, change. This is again full body. Whenever I have no time for yoga, or a mat, or space, I include this one. You really feel your back muscles here. Twisting legs. It's a full body movement combination. Great, and step back in plank. 50 mountain climbers. Great, same pose, only in reverse, from, from plank, right foot forward, circle, plank, opposite. And just use the full range of motion here. Really rage, yeah. As if you're spreading hard glitter. Sparkle into your universe. Solstice. How about solstice? Solstice beauty. and bring your knees down, chest to the ground. Come up onto all fours. Spread the fingers open. 
take your toes under, walk your knees a little closer to you and lift them off the ground. And we're going to twist the entire body to the right and lift the knee almost, almost like fire hydrants or I have trouble with the name of that pose. Almost like that, only we're bringing the torso, the core, everything into it. It's a core exercise more so than glutes. All right, so focus on the core. Pull the belly in, twist, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, opposite side. Great. Push back in down dog. Lift your tailbone high. Take the right leg up. Open the hip. Wow thing. Open the heart. Receiving. And allowing energy to flow through you. Step it through, warrior two. Reverse the warrior. Extension, side angle, really lengthen here. Step it back, plank, chaturanga, up dog, chaturanga, down dog. Inhale the left leg up, step it into wild thing. Lift the hips. Hands down on the ground, step the left foot through, warrior two. Reverse it. Side angle. Really extend, feel the fingertips, charge with energy. Hands on the ground, step your feet to the front. <clears throat> In any way, sit down. Lean back, straight back, grab onto your shin bones and you can adjust to sit you can remove the glutes, the flesh, so that you can get a, a nice arch in the lower back. Pull the belly in as much as you can, of course. Really connecting, reach forward. Now feel free to reach only with one hand and keep holding the opposite, the opposite hand, the shin bones, so that you know that you're in perfect alignment here, no slouching. And we're gonna reach to one side and the other. And we are going to bring the right elbow to the left knee. One, two, three. You can help with the other hand so that everything is really held in, opposite side. You don't want things to protrude, po poach out, soles of the feet together.
Cross the feet, down dog. Inhale the right leg up, warrior one. Hands clasping, we're gonna draw five circles in one direction with the fingertips and reverse. Again, using your obliques here, using your core. Step at the front in chair, hands down into um, crow pose, chaturanga, up dog, chaturanga down dog, left leg comes up, warrior one, five circles in one direction, followed by five in the opposite, really use your obliques here. Reverse. Step in chair. Crow. Chaturanga. Up dog hold. Chaturanga, down dog. Inhale the right leg up and draw a few circles with the knee, massaging or working on the, feeling the hip and pigeon. Lift and lower down, feeling. Feeling the body, bring yourself into the body instead of being kind of fuzzy and kind of uncentered, which happens with mindiness. We come, come down into the body and we, we connect to the heart. And then we balance the mind with the instinct with the intuition, with the connection. Saturn and Jupiter joining for the great conjunction. Whenever you're doing this class, the great conjunction is in 2020, December 21st solstice. And it's, it is indeed grand. It's a shift in consciousness, which will be subtle, but the beginning of a great transition in consciousness, expansion. Slightly here to the right. You can lift your chest and press the chin one more time up. And forward. Connecting to all the muscles. Press it back, you can circle the knee again. Take the left leg and you can move it. Step down into pigeon on the left side, lifting the rib cage, lower down. Sophie, Sophie. Someone was dreamy, dreaming. (laughs) 
Breathe into the hip. Breathe into the moment. Feel your energy extending into the earth. Connecting with the earth, with the soil. And feel your energy extending up into the cosmos. Feeling a violet ray streaming out of the heart center in both directions, from the chest and from the back. Feeling a vortex of violet ray. Seeing your body becoming crystalline on molecular level, cellular level, DNA level. Viscerally feeling the expansion of your consciousness, expanding consciousness, feeling it in your body, in your intuition, in your knowingness. A raising frequency, less denser of a body, that's the trajectory, that's into 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 the expansion I don't want to say future and let's bring it back a few circles Lay down onto your back. And we're going to extend the tailbone down for a pelvic tilt. And we're gonna bring one hip up and then the other with the pelvic tilt. Just a little dance with the hips, adjusting the hips here. Now I want you to bring them, the hip towards the rib cage, shortening the space between the rib cage and the hip, and then the other, kind of think belly dancer here, lift, 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 lift again. This adjusts the hips and the pelvic floor. Great, so scooping now, a scooping action as if here the pelvic bone is a vessel scooping. So as if imagine if it helps you with the movement to bring scooping water visual. So moving in a little bit of a wave-like movement. Again, for the hips, great. Lift into bridge. You can open the arms out, a little bit of um, physical therapy, drop your head to the right. Again, for adjusting hips and shoulders and spine. Center, opposite. So don't force the head. Don't go too far, just drop it. Let it just drop and drop and drop and drop. And come down. One more physical therapy. We've been including them consistently. So star pose, and you're gonna push into the right hand, into the left leg, diagonally, extension. So they're pulling away from each other. Energetically, that again adjusts the hips, pelvis posture. Feel it, great, change it. 
left arm, right leg. If you're a little crooked, that will bring you back in order. All right. Let's bring the right knee in. And across. Keep your shoulder down, soften, relax. With love and acceptance towards yourself without pushing too far. Because we apply that out into the life, into our awareness and connection to our own selves and others. And change. In and across. Surrender to the pose, surrender to the flow. When we release the resistance, we actually become more powerful. And coming out, let's bring the legs up and over the head for plow. Soften the neck. Shoulder stand. And drop it down, bend your knees, feet on the floor, and we're gonna drop. We're going to drop, let's drop the knees to the left. And again, soften the hips, this really adjusts again on the lower back and hips and pelvis. You drop them to one side, you can look to your right. Drop them to the other, really soften, let them drop. Soles of the feet together, relax your body. Soften the face muscles, the eyelids, the temples, the forehead, the throat, the heart, softening the muscles the energetic meridian tension or any form of just lack of flow in those areas and just allowing for softness and flow to appear. Softening the heart and solar plexus, the belly, the root chakra, softening the third eye and the crown, the fingertips. You can extend the legs and let them drop without holding the legs, completely heavy legs, as if they're sinking through the floor. Your back and shoulders, everything is sinking heavy until you feel lightness, weightlessness in the heart and in the third eye. And in the beauty of this emptiness, staying here for a few moments.
allowing yourself to flow into that expansion of consciousness, to be a part of it, to be it. And I'll see you with my next class or on the website, remember to flow with strength and ease. Namaste.